Hello again. Today we are focusing on two more items of clothing for the well-dressed Christian. They're found in Colossians chapter 3 from verses 7 to 12. Gentleness is the first one and patience is the second. Now as a child I sang a song, Gentle Jesus, meek and mild, look upon a little child. Pity my simplicity, suffer me to come to thee. On reflection, I don't think I understood many of the words. But somehow, the impression I got was that Jesus was weak and passive. If you read the story of Jesus in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in the Bible, you'll quickly discover how wrong that picture was. The word for gentle in Greek is preotes. It had a number of meanings, but apparently it was the word used to describe a wild horse that had been trained to carry a rider and respond to the rider's commands. If you want a short definition of gentleness, it is strength under control. Another illustration of gentleness was someone who never showed too much anger and never showed too little. This can only be the work of God's Spirit in us, teaching us how to discipline our lives. True, gentle Christians are not weak, but incredibly strong. The strength is disciplined to serve others. And our second word is patience. I'm sure you've heard of the believer who prayed, God give me patience. Now! How many times have our best intentions been destroyed by our failure to be patient with people? Christian patience is a fruit or outgrowth of God's Spirit in us. It grows slowly and usually as the result of having been in contact with people who bring out the worst in us. We live in an increasingly cynical world. We despair about the integrity of leaders in politics, in business, and even in the church. We are quick to assume that all failures are deliberate, that people cannot change, and that no one can be trusted. Yet, we count on God's patience towards us. We rely on the fact that he doesn't give up on us. We sing, I believe in transformation. God can change the hearts of men. Perhaps we should sing that song, putting our, known, our own name in. I believe in transformation. God can change the heart of Sandy. Or maybe we should put the name of someone in there that we've almost given up on. Your homework for today is to pray that God will give you an opportunity to be gentle and patient. And when he does, give him thanks that his spirit is working in you. Let's pray together. Thank you, Lord, for your patience with us. Thank you for your gentleness. Help us today to strive to treat people the way Jesus did. To be strong in our faith, but have that strength under control. To be patient with everyone, recognizing that we can change. People can change by your grace. And may everything we do this day reflect your glory in Jesus' name, amen.